Hey everybody and welcome to Motivational Monday where you can learn how simple shifts in your habits can lead to profound results in the way that you feel and in the way that you look. Today we're going to be talking about nature's medicine. We're going to be talking about wheatgrass. So wheatgrass is loaded in nutrients. It contains vitamins A, C, E, and the B vitamins. It also contains the minerals potassium, magnesium, iron, and calcium. It's also got amino acids. But the most significant thing about wheatgrass is that it's made up of 70% chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is what gives it so much of its benefits. Chlorophyll helps to absorb toxins in the body. So it helps to purify blood and it helps to clean off your liver. So anything from drug use to alcohol consumption, all of that can be improved upon or can be the effects of which can be mitigated with including wheatgrass in your diet. Chlorophyll also very closely mimics hemoglobin in your body. So hemoglobin is one of your red blood cells that carries oxygen, in, allows for oxygen supply to be carried around in your body. And the more oxygen you have in your system, the less likely your body is to develop disease. So when you take in chlorophyll, you're actually enhancing hemoglobin, which in turn enhances oxygen utilization, which is great for your overall health. So that is also really important as well. Wheatgrass also has antibacterial properties, and it's the backbone of the Hippocrates Institute and the Ann, Wig Ann Wigmore Institute, their whole philosophy against cancer prevention and cancer management through the use of whole foods. Wheatgrass is the backbone of those entire programs, and they're both highly effective. So wheatgrass is what it's called, it's a grass, and it comes in these long blades and you cut them down, and the ideal way to consume it is by juicing it. And it, when you juice it, you extract the pulp, and what you get left behind is, this, is a glass, basically, of concentrated chlorophyll. And that is the very best way to consume it. And you should be consuming it within 15 minutes of juicing it. Otherwise, some of the enzyme activity starts to break down and you don't get that benefit. Other ways that you can get wheatgrass are by getting frozen products, so basically they create these shots and they freeze them, or powdered supplements. They are far less beneficial ways of consuming wheatgrass because what you do not get in those products are the enzymes, and the enzymes help with proper cell replication. So therefore they help protect you against cancer and also help you fight the cancer. If you're taking it in a frozen form or in a powdered form, those enzymes are missing, but what you will still get is some of the vitamins, the minerals, and the other benefits contained. So it's not, it's not totally useless to do it in that way, but it's far more beneficial to do a fresh shot of wheatgrass, especially if you're managing some controversial or very difficult health concern like cancer. But that's not all. So if you were to go down to the Hippocrates Institute or the Ann Wigmore Institute, which I had the benefit of doing several years ago, you will find that they use wheatgrass juice for nearly every single health concern. You can gargle it in your, you can gargle with it to help with sore throats or throat infections. They use it as uh, nasal douches to help clean out your nasal passages for sinus infections. They actually even irrigate the eye for eye infections. They use it as poultices on, on wounds, open wounds in the skin. So it is something that can help accelerate wound healing and disease across the board. So it's not just something that can benefit you internally. It can also help you externally with a whole host of health concerns as well. Additionally, because it's a good source of magnesium, Having wheatgrass in your diet has been shown to help protect or help to manage infertility issues and help with endurance. So magnesium is a nutrient that you, help, you need for proper sex hormone production and function. And it's also the quintessential mineral that's necessary for proper um, energy and stamina and endurance. So including wheatgrass for those situations would be helpful for you as well. One word I will say is that although wheatgrass is non-toxic, if you start taking wheatgrass and you start doing too much at once, it can definitely make you nauseous. Not because of in and of itself it creates nausea, but it's a powerful detoxifier. So as it's throwing toxins off your liver and you're doing it, if you do it too quickly, you can actually get very nauseous and in some cases people have vomited from detoxing too quickly. So when you start using wheatgrass, you want to start with really small amounts, about half an ounce to an ounce depending on what your history is. If you have abused alcohol or drugs in the past and start with smaller amounts, if you lead a pretty healthy life but just want to include wheatgrass in your diet, you could probably start out with one ounce. 
Ideally, you take it on its own. Don't mix it with anything. And you'll be tempted to do that because it's definitely an acquired taste. But ideally, you put it in your mouth, you swish it around with your saliva, allow it to get activated with the enzymes in your saliva, and then you swallow it. Wait a little while before you eat anything else, and that will give you the absolute best way, the best results by taking in wheatgrass. So there's another helpful tip to help move you closer to your health goals. Know this, that just the two ounces of wheatgrass is the equivalent, gives you the equivalent in antioxidant potential as five pounds of raw vegetables. So think about that. That's a lot of raw vegetables that you would have to consume to get all the benefits that you can get in a small two ounce shot of wheatgrass. So it's definitely worth giving it a try. So what's your experience with wheatgrass? Do you include it in your diet or don't you? Have you tasted it and hated it or have you tasted it and found a way to enjoy it? Personally, it's one of those things that I used to hate until I start to, started to see all the amazing things that it did for my skin. It really helps to enhance the way that you look and the way that you feel. So if you like tips like this and you want more of them, come on over to barbaramendezenutrition.com and please sign up for the mailing list there. Once you do, you will automatically receive an email from me every Monday with either a written or a video blog with a recipe, some inspirational tip, or some suggestion to help move you closer to your health goals. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and if you have a comment, definitely come on over to the blog, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can click on the link below and leave your comments over on my blog. I would love to hear your feedback. Thanks so much, everybody. Have an amazing Monday. Try wheatgrass. Tell me what you think. I would love to hear from you. See you next Monday.